hello and welcome in this video i'll be showing you how to create this awesome e-commerce landing page website using only html and css and as you can see i have a logo here i have some navigation links here home shop blog about contact and a shopping cart list and also have some text here and i also have a button here with this beautiful hover effect and I also have this background image so to create this the first thing you are going to do is you come to your desktop or any folder and as you can see for me I've created a folder called shop and in this folder I have a background image which is the image of seen the background and I also have the logo and I've also created that index html file and a style.css file so i'm going to open this and for me i'm using brave browser you can use any browser but for me i'll be using brave browser yeah. so as you can see the page is empty and the next thing you're going to do is to create the code so that you can get this outcome so we open visual studio code and I've already created the links. Go to file, open folder, and go to where you have saved the folder. For me, I've saved it in the desktop and it's shop. I select the folder. I already have the folder. So here, the first thing I'll do, let me first select the CSS and open it to the side. Yeah, like that. So, as you can see i have some css here i'll be explaining that in a moment the first thing we are going to do is to hit shift one which is the exclamation mark it's supposed to give you the html syntax and there we have it we're going to link the css link our css styles.css then come to the css folder here what I've done, I've taken all the colors I'll be using and assigned them to the roots so that I'll not keep on like creating the same same color over and over again. So I have the color for the text which is H1, H2 and I have the color for the paragraph text, I have the primary color, I have the color for the anchor and this green and orange will be using them for patterns so the first thing i'm going to write here is padding for all the elements in the code padding will be zero margin will be zero and then box sizing box sizing will be buddha box then i'm going to add a font family to add that font font family i'll come to my browser and come to google fonts then search spartan spartan here it is i'll select the 300 or the 400 yeah i'll select the 400 and then <coughs> import the style to my css copy and then before everything I paste it there that's the link to the Google fonts and then I come back and then copy the style for the font family yeah and then the next thing is to add styles for all the h2 elements for all the h1 elements and for all the p elements so I'm going to start with the H1 elements. I'm going to give them a font size, a font size of 50 pixels, a line height, a line height of 64 pixels, and also a color, which is the, which is this color for the text. I'm going to use the variable which is var, and then use this two dashes and then select text that selects that selects the color from the roots 
instead of like writing it over and over again then i'm going to style all the h2 elements give them a font size a font size of of 46 46 pixels and then a line height a line height of 56 pixels yeah and then a color which is var text and then the p tags going to give them a font size of 18 pixels I'm going to give them a font size of 18 pixels also a color we're going to use the var and then select the this p text the color for the p text so we're going to p text and then we give them a margin which will be a margin from top to bottom will be zero and from left and right 20 pixels no i'm going to give them a 15 pixels then zero 15 pixels is from top to top zero from bottom then 20 pixels and then zero and then we're going to sell the body the body which are going to give it a width of 100 percent yeah that's it for the first things we're supposed to do and as you can see let's come back to our index html you can see the page is still empty so what you're going to do is to create this navigation bar which is the header which contains the logo and the nav links and also the icon so we're going to come back to the html and the first thing we're going to do is to create a section a section with an id of header then in, inside the section we're going to add an anchor tag which we are going to add our logo and then inside the anchor tag we are going to insert an image which we're going to give it a class of logo and image i'm going to use my logo you saw it earlier in my file and let's come back to the website still no logo let me see mm -hmm. let's come to the css and style the logo dot logo we are going to start here dot logo give it a width of 100 pixels let's come back and see if it appears yeah it appears this is our logo and then below the anchor tag we had a div where we are going to insert our links which are the home shop blog about so we are going to add a link and then inside that link we add an no first we are supposed to add an unordered list and then give the unordered list a, an id of navbar and then inside the another list we add lists lists anchor tags inside and a link of h to make sure that the link doesn't open somewhere else and then we copy paste this thing five times yeah the first one will be home second one will be shop That one will be blog. The next one will be about. Then contact. We are going to paste it one more time for the for this for this shopping cart. And to add this shopping cart, we are going to come to Font Awesome icons. Font Awesome dot com and then come to kids make sure you have created an account and you have logged in and when you verify your email they will give you this kit for free you come and copy paste 
this script come back to your HTML and before after the link we add it here and we should have given this title something like e-commerce e-commerce landing page so after copying the font awesome link there we come back to the font awesome and then click icons and then you search for shopping shopping carts we're going to not shopping cart we're going to select to search for shopping bag i'm going to use this one no i'm going to use the free ones because they don't have a subscription and then come back and copy paste it here yeah then come back to our documents refresh and as you can see we have our logo we have our logo here we have the links down here so we are going to come back in first style it and i'm supposed to open this with live server so you're going to style and the first thing you're going to do is to come to our css wait, 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 yeah. now this is our link we have the logo we have the links home shop blog about contacts i've opened it with live server because the live server i've change the settings so that every time I make a change on my code I'm not supposed to like save it like it reflects directly so we are going to style the header first we are going to header we have this ID you can use classes but for me I've used IDs so we are going to first give it a display flex for them to be on a straight line display flex then we align the items to center then justify content it will be space between space between come back to our and you can see the logo is here and the links are to the find so we come back and give it a padding Wait. We come back and give it a padding of 20 pixels from top to bottom and 80 pixels from left to right. Come back. It's supposed to give it a space. You can see. And then we add a background, background color, which will be the variable and before i had created this primary color that's the one we're going to use for the background and as you can see it appears there then we come back and add a box shadow which will give zero pixels x and then 15 pixels y five pixels y a radius of 15 pixels and the RGBA of zero, 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 and then zero point six. Yeah. So we come back. And you can see we have a a shadow, but it's very. It's supposed to be zero point zero six. Yeah. Come back. You can't see it right now, but you'll see it later. Then you come back and style the navbar, which is the another list. Navbar. We give it display flex. Display flex. To be on a straight line. Then align items will be center. And then justify content will be ja. justify content will be center justify content As you can see they are on a straight line 
so we're going to sell the links so has number for the id and then links we're going to give it a padding of a padding of 0 and 20 pixels and then a list style list style of none it's supposed to give us a space between the links and also yeah you can see that we have space between the links and we also have no style for the link tags then we come and sell the anchor tags now l i n text decoration will be none to remove the line below the anchor tags for the none and then we add a font size a font size of 18 pixels and then we add a font weight a font weight of 600 and then a color a color we are going to use the var and the anchor i have that color up here yeah and then we add nothing else come back as you can see we have a color it's very very bright yeah and then we don't have the line below the anchor tags so the next thing you're going to add is hover so that when in every time i hover my mouse over the links it changes their color so l i a over you are going to give it the color which is green yeah so as you can see when i hover the link changes to green so so what we are going to do next is to make this home page as you can see here when i'm in the home page the link is highlighted green and if you had other pages and i click shop blog about contact or the cut it will change the color so i want us to highlight this home so we come back here and below this over we'll go we will add number that's for the id number. and you are your vs code is not supposed to like show you these suggestions because i'm using something else so you're going to add after then you come back no not after you add active and then you come back to the css and in this home this home link we will add a class of active a class of active and as you can see now our home text is highlighted so the next thing you are going to add is to add this background image and then we add this text here and also this button so we come back to our html and below the section actually i'm supposed to add a comment here to show this is the header and then after this i add another yeah, end of header and then I add another comment for the hero section and for this I'll add a section a section with an ID of hero and inside this I'll add a h a h a h2 tag come back h2 tag for this text on sale this season so i'll just copy this copy come back and paste then i add a uh, h1 come back and copy then paste it here then i add a p tag for with that this summer and then I add a button 
and the text will be shop now go back to our site and as you can see we have this three text so after adding the the details on the section supposed to be section I'll come to the CSS so that I can add the background image first I'll create a comment to show that mm -hmm. create a comment to show that this is the CSS for the hero page then add the hero ID and the first thing I'm going to do is to add a background image which is where you see the URL I have it in my folder as back.jpg come back and let's see still can see the image no 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 back.jpg this one jpg come back and as you can see we have a image that is appearing there but it's not like appearing fully so we'll start add the styling for it so that we can see it so for me i'll add a height of 88 vh but you're supposed to add a 90 vh depending on the type of image you have and then a width of 100%. Let's come back. Mm -hmm. You can see that we have an image, yes, but still it's covering the whole 100%. Then we add a background position. Background position of center. And a background size of cover come back and as you can see we have our image here have our image the reason i'm giving it 88 vh it's because it's my image is giving me this slide and i don't want that so i'll come in put 88 vh come back yeah it's good so we are going to make this text appear far from the corner to be the same as the logo where the logo is so we come back and add a padding of 20 of zero yeah zero and then 80 pixels come back as you can see the text is far from the left side come back and then we add a display display of flex when you have this display of flex when i use the display flex you can see that it's appearing on a straight line to change that i'm going to come here and add a flex direction flex direction of column so that they can be on a straight line column and then add a align items which will be flex start flex start and then we add the justify content justify justify content will be center it's supposed to be like that let's see as you can see the text is now appearing here as the same as our website here so we are going to give them colors and also style the button so we come back we are going to add hero hero h1 we are going to give it a color Vow which will be green come back as you can see it's changing the color is changing then now we still the button hashtag hero button we're going to give it a padding of 12 pixels and 10 pixels. We're going to give it a background color of green. 
which is gone green then we're going to give it a color a color of the p text yeah and then we are going to give it a border of none border none and then a border radius a border radius of 30 pixels that pixels border radius of 30 pixels and then we give it a font size font size of 18 pixels we come back to the website and as you can see we have the button i'm going to give it a color of white the text inside the color of white we come to here and yeah we're going to give it a font weight of 200 then come back here and give this a color of primary no color of white come back and as you can see we have our button here so we're going to make to add a hover effect to the we're going to add a hover effect to the button but before that when you switch through these pages you can see that the background image is appearing different right so we're going to come back here to the background position which is here we're going to give it a a top of 20 25 percent and then right we're going to give it zero zero come back as you can see now they are the same mm -hmm. so we come back here and add a hover effect to the button hero button then hover I'm going to give it a background color of orange we have it up here which is orange come back then add a, then add a cursor cursor will be point come back and as you can see we have a cursor and we can come back in above this text we can add something else something like we can come here and add a h4 tag give it something like trade trading offer come back you can see we have a small text there we come and style it so it will be hero h4 a color of the p text and then give it margin bottom margin bottom margin bottom of 10 pixels so that it's far from the h1 yeah and the last thing you're going to do is as you can see when i over through this links and also the button the transition is too fast so i'll come back to the to my code and in this button hero button i'll add a transition transition of 0 0.5 seconds is and then come back to the links this ones and add also a transition of 0 0.5 seconds is you can come back to the site and as you can see now we have a smooth transition when I hover over the links and also the button but why the button one is very fast let me come back 
supposed to be 0 0.5 seconds is come back as you can see we have a smooth transition in those links and also the button here as you can see our website is fully done you can increase its font size a little bit font size we give it something like 12 pixels let's see yeah so guys as you can see we have already completed our e-commerce landing page using html and css and thank you for watching and i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you let's meet in the next video trying to add more pages in this website including the hero section we have already added the hero section we can add the product section because this is an e-commerce website and we can add the shop the blog the about and also to make this website responsive Thank you for watching. Bye.